Hey there guys, welcome to the next tutorial video for the channel. Now, like I said in the Star Wars Tower Wallet time lapse video, I said I was going to make a tutorial for how to make one of those wallets, the Tower Wallet. So, this is that video. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get started. Alright. So let's get started on making the duct tape towel wallet. Now your measurements for this wallet are, you need to cut out four strips of tape that are eight inches long. And now you're going to take your first two strips right here. It's stuck to my finger. <laughs> let's get that off of there. Okay. Now take, now take the second strip here. And just stick it down as carefully as possible, right on top of that one, covering up all the sticky side the best you can. Okay. So you're just gonna, now you're gonna flip it over and take your third strip. Okay. And just line that up on your cutting mat or ruler, whatever you have at at the, at the bottom line, and take the third strip. Line it up at three inches on your ruler or cutting mat, whatever you, per whatever you prefer to use, and stick it down. So now you have a sheet of tape that is three inches high and eight inches long. Now take your fourth and final strip here and cover up the rest of the sticky side showing, just like that. Okay, so there you go. So now your next step is to make two more of these so you have three total so do that now and we'll move on to the next step alright so now that you have now you've made those other two you should have three total sheets that are the exact same size and length eight inches long and three inches high Okay, so now you're going to just take one of these and just put it to the side. You're going to take these two. Okay. And now you're going to cut out two strips of tape. One you're going to cut out that is six inches long and cut it in half to have two strips that are three inches long. And then just cut out one strip that is a full eight inches long. Okay, let me tighten up my exacto blade. Okay. So now you're going to take your eight inch strip. And take these two sheets, just line them up carefully. Okay. Okay, just line them up so they're equal. Okay. So now you're going to take this strip, put half of it onto the sheet, and half of it on the surface you're working on. So now you're going to flip this over, and then you're going to take the rest of it and Flip it over and seal it down right like that. Okay, so now you have the start of your billfold for the tower wall. Okay, so now you're gonna take one of your three inch strips and you're gonna stick again half of it on to the sheet and half of it down to what you're working on. And then flip it over and seal it down. Okay, so now you're gonna take now you're going to take the next, now you're going to take your last three inch strip and do the same thing. Put half of it onto the sheet, half of it on the surface you're working on, flip it over, and stick the rest, and stick the rest of it down right like that. Okay, good. So now you have, let's start, now you have your billfold. Okay. Alright, so now that you have your billfold done for the tower wallet, I'm going to show you how to attach this strip so you have an opening flap so you can finish up the tower wall. Okay, so now you're going to, so you're going to take, you're going to count a strip of tape that is 8 inches long. You're going to take, you're going to peel it up. Let's take this and put half of it onto the strip, fit to the surface you're working on, and then flip it over and just stick it down just like so and just leave a bit of a gap so you have just a little bit of sticky side showing and so it can stay shut 
just like this. Okay, so there you go. So you have your so now your tower wall's finished. So now I'm gonna show you how to put a credit card holder into the into the tower wallet. So let's get started on that now. Alright, so to make the card holders, you're going to cut out four strips of tape that are three and a quarter inches long. So now you're going to take your first two strips here. Get that off my fingers. Then you're going to take the second strip here. It's flattened. Let me make sure this is flattened out. So there are little lumps. And. Just stick it down, covering all the sticky side. So now bring over your uh, ID or card holder, whatever you're using as reference to make the holders, and place this one right here, just like that. So it's just a little bit uh, wider than the card itself. So now flip it over and cover up the rest of the sticky side just like that okay good so now that's so now that's your card holder so now you're going to cut out three strips of tape that are just a little bit larger that are just a little bit uh, wider than a half inch and they are the and they're just they're almost basically the exact same length as this three and a quarter inches okay so now you're going to stick it down on the side just like this, half on the sheet, half on the surface you're working on, and do the same on the bottom, just like that, and then do, and do the same thing on this side, half of it on there, half on the surface you're working on. Okay, so there you have your vertical card holder, so now let's bring the tower wall over, the tower wall over, and stick it down, just like this, right onto the wallet. All right, there you go. So there you have your vertical credit card holder for a tower wallet. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a duct tape tower wallet. It's pretty cool. So if you guys have any more if you guys have any requests on any type of wallet or any type of design that you've come up with or maybe just something that you'd like to see me make, let me know and I'll try and get a time lapse or a tutorial video up, however you want it made. Uh, and visit the Facebook fan page if you'd like. The link will be in the description. And visit the also visit the YouTube channel known as Duct Tape Stuff, one of the largest. Um, duct tape channels on YouTube, pretty cool, and he's taught, so all his tutorials have shown me how to make most of what I've shown you how to make on my channel, which is pretty cool, the link will be in the description for that as well, and also, I just want to let you guys know, I am now a YouTube partner, I am still trying to find, figure out all the perks to being a YouTube partner, so it's going to, so that's pretty cool. And I'll catch you guys next time. Well, so that's pretty much it for the announcements. So I'll catch you guys next time on the channel. Thanks for watching.